Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be back and filming another video for you guys. I've honestly missed it so much and I know I've been taking a lot of hiatuses, but honestly school has kept me so busy. If you guys want any updates on that, let me know. I'm not sure if anyone even cares, so. Yeah, so today I decided to do a video on my clip-in extensions that I got and just showing you guys tips and tricks for how I put them in, especially for shorter hair because with shorter hair they can be quite difficult to kind of blend in and make it work so um i've actually been doing this since my hair was about here maybe like around my shoulder length so this will definitely work if you have shorter hair than mine and of course if you have longer hair it should work as well these are my extensions um they're the lightest shade from foxy locks um they look a little bit off color but it's just because they're more bathed in light than my hair is right now but it's basically the same color as my hair as you can see um, so this is actually only about half of the weft it comes with, just a little over half. I bought one of the longer sets, these are 22 inches, and it came with a lot of wefts, which I don't really need all of them. Sometimes if I want more volume, I'll put them in. Um, so these are pre-curled, if you guys want a tutorial on that, I can definitely do that too. Oh, and also one thing I wanted to mention was I actually did get these um, cut at my hairdresser, so she basically put them in and then cut them so they kind of blend it in a bit more. I would definitely recommend doing that if you have shorter hair because it really does help to blend it in. I'll show you more closely how they're cut um, when I'm actually putting them in. I'm just gonna switch over to the bathroom view now so I can put them in for you guys and yeah. First I get one of the largest wefts um, with four clips and I split my hair just right around where my ear is. If you're wondering, I didn't get this piece cut at all by my hairstylist other than having the ends tapered a bit just as a personal preference and definitely not necessary to make it blend. Something I'd really recommend doing, especially if your hair is shorter than mine, is taking a little elastic and tying that hair you left down into a little ponytail or bun so you don't have all those pieces under that you have to worry about. So now you're just going to want to tease the hair that you left down to give the clips a nice padding for when you put them on. I like to use this wooden brush because it's more gentle on your hair, but you can definitely use a typical um, comb or anything like that. So this is one of the side pieces that I use. It is three clips and I had it cut, as you can see, so that it blends with the shorter front pieces of my hair. For the next wefts, I'm taking the three clip one and a four clip one I also showed you earlier and I kind of put them following the middle of my forehead and back and put them together so that it's almost like one large weft and as I mentioned these are both cut in a way so that they blend with the front parts of my hair. For the two remaining one clip wefts, I like to put these as high as I can on my scalp so that the clips still don't show. So these two wefts are also actually included in the cutting of my hair, so they are also cut at a little bit of an angle, so I just have to check which one is on which side. So we have all the clips in, now it's time to blend them in. To blend in my natural hair with my extensions, I like to use my GHD straightener and my T3 wand. I really recommend a wand like this for blending in this length of hair because it's tapered. So personally, when I have my hair curled with the extensions, I like the curls to begin where my natural hair ends because it makes it a lot easier to blend in because you just have your real hair straightened instead of curling it in and a tapered wand really gives you a nice look with this. So for these front pieces to blend my hair in, I just take my hair and a piece of my extensions and just kind of like half curl it backwards with the straightener and that just makes it blend in really nicely. If you did that trick I mentioned earlier where you tied your bottom hair back, then you don't have to worry too much about this, but if you didn't, like I decided not to, um, you're going to have to try to blend in these pieces at the very bottom and the way I like to do this is I take a piece of the real hair again and a piece of my hair and I straighten it together and that usually makes it blend in pretty well and for the pieces that are being a little bit more stubborn I'll just curl them in and just repeat the same technique to blend in your top hair. If you're wondering what I was just doing with my phone, that's how I check if the back of my hair is blended in. I open up the camera and then I zoom in so I can see the back of my hair. It's so helpful.
So here's pretty much the final product. Sometimes the front pieces bother me, so I'll clip them back like this and it gives it a cute look on top of being really useful for not having to blend in as much hair at the top. So there you have it, uh, me putting in my extensions. Hopefully that helped you guys a bit. By no means am I an expert at this. I don't wear them every day, but I feel like I've learned a lot since the first time I put them on, like always trying new things. If you guys have any more questions, any more extension videos, or any videos at all you want me to make, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye.